Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Gisby, Culinary Specialist with the Child Nutrition Programs. Here in the Culinary Classroom, we provide hands-on and virtual training opportunities for child nutrition staff everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video to follow and let us know if you utilize any of our recipes in your kitchens. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at cauliflower. Cauliflower is a very versatile vegetable as it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor on its own. So it can really take on any flavor you are giving to it. We're going to do cauliflower two ways here. We're going to do a buffalo cauliflower and a honey garlic cauliflower. I've already started prepping my cauliflower. And for both of them, we're going to do the same thing, just a rough chop, nice big bite-sized pieces here. So I like to first half it, and then I go right down and cut a triangle in here, and it releases the center, and you can pull the leaves right off. And be sure to save these. You have a lot of great uses. You can use them for a vegetable stock or anything like that. Um, if you give food to a pig farmer, they will accept it. Or if you compost, it's great for that as well. So my scrap bowl right over here. I'll put them right in. So we're just going to kind of rough chop this cauliflower. If you see any pieces that look a little bit too big, go ahead and just reach in and break them apart, or you can take them back out and cut them up. And because both of these um, versions of cauliflower are roasted. If you have a lot of these little pieces, I would add them right to your scrap bowl because these would probably burn when you put everything in the oven. All right, get this set right to the side. So, first one we're going to look at is the buffalo cauliflower. For this, we're just going to lightly season. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle it with some olive oil. And then just some salt and pepper, because you're really going to get the flavor out of this when you add your buffalo sauce to it. So I'm trying to use my hands to toss it up here and really make sure everything's coated. All the pepper and the salt and the oil are nicely covering all the cauliflower here. So I'm going to take a sheet pan, I'm going to lightly spray it just so it doesn't stick. And I'm just kind of spread everything out and I'm going to pop it in a 350 degree convection oven for about 20 minutes. Make sure to check on it periodically, you might have to stir it around or even um, turn the pan in the oven because of the fan. So for the honey garlic cauliflower, we're actually going to dredge this so it will have a breading on it. The first thing you're going to want to do is get a cup of flour and you're going to put it right onto the cauliflower. And you're going to also add some salt and pepper to this as well. We're going to go ahead and toss this. You want to make sure the cauliflower has a good coating of flour on here. And then in this bowl here, we have three eggs with a little bit of water, so it's a nice little egg wash. And then here we just have some panko breadcrumbs. And then, of course, you're going to need your sheet pan. And once again, lightly spray it so nothing sticks. But once you make sure that this is all nicely coated in the flour, this will help the egg to stick to it. Just kind of shake off some of the pieces, get them in your egg, make sure. And I know that there's a whole rule of the wet hand, dry hand. I tend to go more with the 
not as dirty hand, dirty hand method here. So we're going to get those coated in the egg, toss them over into the panko. And as they get covered, we'll put them, lay them out on the sheet pan. All right, and once you get all of your cauliflower breaded, of course, we now have two dirty hands, um, you're going to pop these right in the oven with the cauliflower that is for your buffalo cauliflower for about the same time. Once again, pay attention, you know, peek every once in a while. You can always add more time to the timer, but you can't take it back. And you want these to get nice and golden brown. So now that we've got all of that out of there, we'll put them in the oven and get working on our sauces. So now that our cauliflower is in the oven, we're going to get started on our sauces. I've already made the buffalo sauce. That is a really quick, easy sauce to make. Melt in some butter, add hot sauce, and you can season it the way you like. I tend to add a little garlic, onion, and cayenne to mine because I like a little kick. Um, making your own gives you a wonderful opportunity to control the heat level um, that you are providing to your students. There are also some great buffalo sauces out there to purchase if you don't want to make your own. But we are going to make our honey garlic sauce. So in this measuring cup right here, I have a cornstarch and water slurry already mixed together, and we're going to go ahead and set it aside. We have a pan heating up right here, and we are going to add to this pan our honey. And just so you know, an easy trick to help it come out of the measuring cup a little bit better is actually spraying it with a little um, pan spray. It helps it slide out. We're going to add some low sodium soy sauce, so we're going to measure that out. And I'm going to go right in that same measuring cup since all the ingredients are going together anyway. Put that right in with the honey there. We need a couple of tablespoons of sriracha. Um, we need the juice of about two limes. I'm going to kind of liberally add it here. I am using bottled lime juice. And then about four cloves of minced garlic. So you're going to want to keep this whisking this over medium to high heat until it starts to boil. Once it starts to boil, you'll add in your cornstarch slurry, and that'll thicken it up, and it becomes a beautiful sauce to coat your cauliflower with. Once this has come to a boil, you're going to want to add your slurry in, constantly stirring so that you don't get lumps. You'll notice that, you know, at this time it usually has stopped boiling a little bit, and that's because the slurry has cooled down the mixture. Um, it will quickly come back up to a boil, and that's when you'll start to see the sauce thicken up as well. So now that we've finished our honey garlic sauce, we're going to go ahead and start pulling our cauliflower from the oven. The buffalo cauliflower is done first. It went in first. And we'll get that sauced up nicely and right back in, actually. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use very quickly a spatula that is not necessarily heat proof. And we're going to go ahead and just put everything right into this mixing bowl over here. Be very careful not to burn yourself. The pan is very hot. We're going to go ahead and add buffalo sauce and toss this. And you can add as much or as little sauce as makes you happy. You should want, really want to make sure everything is nice and fully coated here. So, 
just a little bit more. I like buffalo sauce. All right, and we're going to go ahead and return this right to the same sheet pan, make sure, making sure to spread it out so it has room around it. And we're going to go right back into the oven for about 10 more minutes. All right. The breaded cauliflower for our honey garlic cauliflower is also ready to go. Look at this beautiful golden brown color we have here. And we are going to do the exact same thing we did with the buffalo cauliflower. We're going to go ahead and put it all right in this bowl here. Once again, being careful not to burn yourself. Get this one out a little piece. There we go. We have our wonderful, nice thickened sauce that we made here. We're going to just drizzle some of that on there and toss it around with a spatula. And this is going to go right back onto that same sheet pan as well, making sure to spread it out again. I'm going to grab this other little guy, make sure he makes it in there too. And once again, just for a couple more minutes, just make sure you maintain that crispiness. So here are our finished products. We have our wonderful buffalo cauliflower, nice kick to it. And over here we have our honey gar garlic cauliflower. These would make a great addition to your hotline, to your salad bar, as pre-made salad toppers. Um, and I really think the kids would just absolutely love them. So please give them a try in your kitchen.